back to my channel. I hope you're all doing fine and staying safe. My name is Helene and on this channel, I create content about student life in Canada and just about my life in general. If you are new to this channel, please, please do consider subscribing and being a part of this small YouTube family. Uh, every time I do make some Q&A videos and I suggest you that if you have any questions, uh, use hashtag Q&A and you can put your questions down below in the comment section. And I make uh, Q&A videos where I answer all such questions. So in my last few videos, I did get a lot of questions and I will be answering some of those questions in this video so make sure you watch this entire video because you might have a similar question which uh, will be answered in this uh, video so let's get started with our today's video so our first question for today's video is from Harshman Kaur uh, she's asking asking hey Harleen the I'm in 12th currently and I want to come to Canada so I want to know if it is difficult to pay tuition fee only by doing part-time jobs and doing a co-op is really beneficial Hello Harshman. So my, so for your first question, uh, it's really, really hard. I would say it's impossible to pay your tuition fee just with part-time jobs because for part-time jobs, you only have 20 hours uh, per week and that usually we earn like minimum wages, which is about 14 to $15 an hour. Um, so it's, and your tuition fee is much higher than that. So with our part-time job, we can only pay um, our expenses such as our living expenses, food expenses, uh, phone bill, etc. We cannot really pay our entire tuition fee. Uh, with part-time jobs. Uh, second question is, um, is doing a co-op really beneficial? I would really, really recommend uh, if you have an option to choose co-op program, go ahead, go ahead and choose it because that way you'll not only get Canadian, Canadian um, job experience, but you'll also be making money, which will help you pay a lot of your tuition fees. So that's really, really beneficial. Uh, second question is from Vasudev, which is better should we come after 12th or after degree to Canada for PCM students? I also did PCM in, uh, in India and I chose to came after 12th um, and I do not regret it. It's your personal preference. What I recommend is either you do your bachelor's degree in India and then come here for your master's degree or you come here for your bachelor's degree or uh, advanced diploma, which both of these options have really good job opportunities. So it's your personal preference. Our next question is from Sukrit. Uh, Hi, Di, I wanted to know how much grade 11 marks are good to be accepted in bachelor's degree in computer science from any of the top five universities in Canada. Please reply. Um, as uh, since we all know that computer science program is really, really competitive in all these top universities because it's in high demand. So they will look at both your grade 11, grade 12, your extracurriculars and everything. So I would suggest that if you have above 90%, it's ideal. But uh, I would also suggest that you do focus on your grade 12 marks a lot especially in the core subjects which is maths physics chemistry so yeah both 11th and 12th are equally important for computer science our next question is from Priyanka. Uh, Dee, you are really doing a great work. Thank you. Uh, Dee, please tell me what is good to do bachelor's in nursing in Canada and is maths compulsory for BSc nursing because it's getting really difficult to do maths and biology. Um, yes, uh, maths will really, really help you. Um, whether you are doing nursing here or whether you are doing engineering here, maths uh, is very important. So I would suggest that you really, really focus on maths as well. But if you're planning on becoming a registered nurse in Canada, uh, I would recommend that you do your Bachelor of Nursing in India and then come here for, for an advanced diploma and give your exams for a registered nurse. R and the exam, which you will have to clear in order to become a nurse in Canada. But doing your bachelor's in India would be a cheap, affordable option, I would say, than doing your bachelor's uh, in Canada for nursing. So that's my opinion. Uh, next question is from Gurjeet. Uh, what your percentage in 12th, if you don't mind? I have also mentioned my 12th uh, percentage in previous videos. Uh, I scored 93% in, uh, in CBSC PCM. Uh, but yeah. So 93% in PCM. Our next question is from Alicia. Hey Dee, do you know if architecture course in your university is good or not? I have heard that it is really good because it does offer co-op program as well. So you'll, you'll get the chance to work along with your studies. So that's uh, the best part. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम ईशा हाई दी प्लीज शेयर योर स्ट्रेटेजी टू गेट गुड मार्क्स ट्वेल्थ पीसीएम डिड यू यूज एनी रेफरेंस बुक्स और नोट्स ये आई डेड आई रिमेंबर आई हैव आई डिड सो मच प्रैक्टिस लाइक मैं बहुत प्रैक्टिस की थी स्पेशली फॉर फिजिक्स फिजिक्स आई फेल्ट फिजिक्स टू बी द हार्डेस्ट सब्जेक्ट सो आई रियली प्रैक्टिस अ लॉट ऑफ प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन फॉर मैथ्स एंड फिजिक्स आई रिमेंबर आई आई डोंट एग्जैक्टली रिमेंबर कि मैं कहरी कहरी बुक्स यूज की थी बट आई रिमेंबर फॉर मैथ्स आई डिड आर डी शर्मा आई थिंक आर डी शर्मा दे मैं क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस की थे सी एंड आई डिड प्रैक्टिस एटलीस्ट टेन ईयरस प्रीवियस टेन ईयरस दे बोर्ड एग्जाम्स प्रैक्टिस की थे सी सो आई वुड सजेस्ट टू एज मच प्रैक्टिस एज यू कैन स्पेशली फॉर फॉर द न्यूमेरिकल्स प्रैक्टिस करो एंड आई थिंक यू विल बी फाइन गुड लक Our next question is from Marjot. Um, hi, the why didn't you pursue bachelor's in computer science at Waterloo, which also has the same fees fees as mathematical economics bachelor's? It's just a personal question. If you could answer, I'm asking just because CS degree has more scope. Yes, CS does has more scope, but it really like I don't like uh, computer science that much, and I don't see myself doing coding entire day. Um, so I didn't really enjoy computer science, um, which is why I didn't choose computer science. um yeah that i enjoy doing mathematics more than doing computer science so that's why i chose uh, mathematical e- economics okay so our next question is from susan uh, hey harleen do we have to pay extra for choosing minors and can we switch our career to minor that we take later for jobs uh, no there is no extra fee uh, to choose any minors or any specialization that you do because uh, for minors you just have to take some extra like credits basically extra courses in that particular field uh, so there are no extra charges for that because every program has some electives and and in for those electives you can choose these minor um courses and get get a minor or specialization so there are no extra charges and yes obviously you can switch your career um to that as well it really depends on the minor that you're choosing such as some people choose hr minor and obviously they can pursue their uh, career in hr so uh, it yeah you can do that and i think that's a good option If you're really confused which program or which major to choose, I would suggest that you you can take some minors. Um, our next question is from Amrit Veer. Can I do bachelor's degree in computer science if I'm not having mathematics in eleventh and twelfth? I would say no, because maths is uh, one of the main subjects for computer science. So they will definitely look at your maths score if you want to do uh, computer science. So no. Uh, next question is from Pishu. Is it good? Uh, is it good to come to Canada after twelfth? Coming to Canada after twelfth would be really, really expensive, and I don't see much students choose that that option. So come to Canada after twelfth. I think that's better option than coming here after tenth. uh next question is from samiha didi uh did you come to apply separately did you ha- did you have to apply separately for your co-op permit or the offer letter was enough for getting a co-op work permit by the way thank you for asking my previous previous question lots of love from bangladesh thank you samiha uh first of all for co-op work permit once you get enrolled in the co-op program when you land here in canada along with your student permit you also get a work permit and that work permit is eligible only for your co-op jobs so you will get a co-op work permit if you are enrolled in co-op program and i think i think that that did answer your question um and i think that and i think that did answer your question so and thank you so much um okay our last question is from gurbaksh saying beta your videos are far better than information provided by agents please tell me how you spent how much you spend in first year fees plus everything and then how much your parents supported later on that will help me to take decision for my son love from amritsar putra thank you uncle ji that means a lot they um, my parents um, ne meri first semester the tuition fee pay ki thi si which was about 14000 canadian dollars uh first semester but now you have to pay your entire one year tuition fee uh, but back then when i applied i only had to pay one semester tuition fee so my parents paid for my accommodation 
um, my first year tuition or first my accommodation, GIC, my first semester's tuition fee. And since I was in a co-op program, uh, my Pakiria tuition fee, I did pay on my own, like most part of the tuition fee. My parents helped me in my first, second, and some of my third semester's tuition fee. And after that, I've paid all my tuition fees on my own because co-op really helps um, make that money and that you can use to pay your tuition fee. Obviously, I worked part-time throughout these last four years. I worked part-time so that part-time helped me save some for my tuition fee and pay my entire um, living expenses in Canada. So that was what my I paid and my parents paid. So that was it. Um, that was it for today's video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please, please give a thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe. And if you have any other Q uh, questions, leave it down in the comment section below with hashtag Q&A and I'll, I'll, I'll try to answer those questions in my next video. That was it for this video. I will be back with more such videos. Bye.